What's up YouTube? In this video, we're going to cover how to install the text editor Atom onto either your Mac or Windows machine. So Atom is this awesome text editor, which I'm going to actually pull up their website here so you guys can see it. Let's make this a little bit bigger so you guys can see it full screen. So Atom is this awesome website that um, allows you to put together some pretty robust projects. And it's not just Python. You can put together, I think, easily up to 40 different languages um, are, are able to be in um, input into Atom and interpreted so it syntactically makes sense. So um, I highly recommend Atom. It was actually developed by the GitHub team. So um, I, I know that it's, uh, its bones are definitely built well. Uh, it's uh, it's really fun to use, really simple to use, and there's lots of plugins for um, developers to add on. So, um, again, I personally use Atom in my Python package builds. Uh, so, Atom is actually better defined as a text editor, which you guys can see down here. Uh, and so, there is a difference between a text editor and an interactive development environment. Now, in my personal opinion, um, even though well, first off, interactive development environments are short for like an IDE. So if you guys ever hear out in the wild, uh, an IDE, that's the interactive development environment reference. So one of the most common, at least for Python developers, is going to be PyCharm. And so let me drag this over here so we can see it. Um, PyCharm is this super, super, super fancy um, interactive development environment. That you guys can download it on, onto your machines. Um, no, we can't use cookies. Uh, so you guys can use this and set this up. It has automatic text completion. It also has um, the definitions for each of the functions, so on and so forth. So it is by far a lot more robust than any text editor will be. Um, as you guys can see, this is automatic code completion, which is handy. Um, and so if you guys really wanted to, you guys could hop on. JetBrains, who is the company that creates it, and go to PyCharm to see that interactive development environment. And like I said, you'll see IDE out in the wild, and that's what that's referring to. Okay, I personally though, however, like Atom. It's what I got started with, it's what I use, it's what I'm most familiar with, so don't fix it if it's not broke. So the way we download Atom is super simple. We just click download. We let it run, and looks like that's going to be a little bit of time. So in the interim, while we're waiting on this to download, did want to talk with you guys. Um, I am putting this together for Adam. I'm probably also going to, going to go ahead and put together a video for Sublime and for Jupyter, so how to install Jupyter onto your machine. But if there is another text editor, or if you're curious about the IDE, um, go ahead and put in the comments below and I'll see if I can't make a video on how to download that. So if you're struggling with that, I will go ahead and figure that out and put that onto my personal computer and then make a video about how um, I go about doing that. Um, so also, if you like my videos, throw a like down below, that little thumbs up. Um, really makes me feel like you guys like my content. And of course, if there is something that I'm doing wrong or that you don't like about my content, I welcome critique. Um, so go ahead and put that in the comments below and you know, yeah, I'll listen to that. So looks like we are almost done here. And let's see. And there we go. All right, so we're going to double click that there. Let's pull this over so you guys can see what I'm seeing. So it's got to go through a whole verification process.
All right, keeps defaulting to my other screen. So there is that, that's what just popped up. Ah, probably because we have this big, okay. And we're gonna click open. So we're gonna open up Atom. We're gonna preview it and open it up. And so whenever we open up Atom, this is what we get. So now that we have installed Atom, we do have access to it here. I'm gonna briefly go over how to access things. Now, you can either define a single script, which let's not make this so big. Let's zoom into it. Let's do that so you guys can see this a little bit easier. Where is zoom? Increase font size. That's probably what we'll want. So let's just take that and go like this. So you guys can see. So we're just gonna put a simple command print and then we'll say hello. Now this text editor doesn't really know what this is. In fact, it's reading this as plain text. So in order to convert this to Python, we need to say Python and then click that there. And now this is being read as a Python file. So um, even more so than that, we can save this file as a Python file. And then we can use it to execute this code block. So let's just call this um, hello.py. And we're not gonna save it there, we'll just save it to my desktop. And we will save that. And so now, as you guys can see, <laughs> you guys can see that Adam automatically detected the folder that we saved this file in and then made it accessible over here on the side. So of course we don't wanna have all of that open. We can close it with this little arrow icon. And now, how do we execute this? Well, we would technically need to go to our terminal. Terminal, like it's spell, which this is, let's clear that out. That was from the Python installation video. And so we need to then, number one, what directory are we in? So we need to CD into our desktop. Um, and then we can list where we are and then we can actually run, so let's clear this out. So we're into our desktop folder. We can just say Python three and then we can run hello.py. And we can see that we're returned hello. So um, we are executing that file that we just created within Atom. Now, let's say for instance, we wanted to change this from Python. Let's say we want to do JavaScript. So we can just say console.log and then let's say hello, hello, and then boom. Now, of course, we don't want to get into Node.js to execute this, but again, in order to change that so that we're not reading this as Python, we just say Java script, and then we have the syntax highlighting for JavaScript. So um, those are some just really basic things to do to get started with. In fact, we're still reading this as a Python file, so that wouldn't have executed anyways. But let's go back to um, these functions up here at the top. At the top, there's a, there's a a drop down bar that says packages. Now I have this package called platformio.io. And so instead of having to go and open up another terminal, I actually have the terminal accessible here within Atom. And so I can type in any command that I want. Let's actually put our code block back up here. So print, let's just say hello to so that we can see that when we execute it, where are we? So print working directory, we are in the desktop folder. So then we're gonna, well, I didn't mean to do that. Let me clear all that out. There we go. So then we're gonna execute this file once more. We're gonna say python three hello.py. And we can see that we're returning hello too, which is what we just defined. So this is a fully functioning terminal down below and it's super handy because then you don't have to go back and forth between your terminal and Atom. You have it available to you here. Um, but in order to install that, we need to go to, where was that? Find window, let's see. Uh, I think it's Atom. 
preferences, where is it, services? No, we don't want preferences, we'll just go here, packages. Hmm. There we go. So if you guys are ever confused where these things are, okay, so it says it's in packages in symbol, or was it packages find? What was that? Said, <laughs> ah, I see. Okay, so we're gonna go to packages, and then that was in settings view, install packages and themes. So if you guys are ever confused on how to work Adam, just use the help button. I use it all the time when I'm trying to figure something out. Um, okay, so to search for packages, we're gonna search for plat, it's called platformio. Formio. Platformio, where is it? Terminal. So it's gonna be this platformio IDE dash terminal. And so as you guys can see, I have this installed. But let's say, for instance, I did not have this installed. You are just going to be, just, in fact, let's uninstall it here really quickly. And then we'll reinstall it just so you guys can see. So you're going to just click the install button and let that finish. And then once that's done, you'll be able to access that up here, like I did before in your packages. Now you can change the themes. We're gonna let that go for a second. Um, you can change the themes, so the, the color style and then the syntax style. You can do that here in the themes. You can view the packages that you have installed already. Here you can look um, for a whole bunch of different just functionality um, changes for Adam here. Let's see. Now let's do, just, we'll do that. We'll change that and then so now you guys can see that that changed. Actually, I kind of like that bluish gray. So we're gonna leave that. And let's see. Where were we? And as we can see, Platformio ID terminal has been installed, so we can access that right down here at the bottom. Now to prompt up a new terminal, we click new terminal, and we can see that that pops up right down below. So. That is how you install Atom onto your PC. The setup process is essentially the same for a Windows computer um, and a Mac computer or Mac machine, PC, whatever you wanna call it. <clears throat> um, I hope that you guys really enjoyed this video. Got a lot of good, good content out of it. And um, yeah, with that, over and out guys.